the title of my presentation is Different Type of Idealization and Mode of Explanation in Social Sciences and, and History. And I am inspired by April Lesser Govak and his idealization theory of science. And he distinguishes uh, five approaches to idealization. Uh, the Bohemian, the Iberian, Lyrician, Minian, and Hegelian. And uh, I think, and it, it is possible to, to reach hypothesis, that in social sciences and in history, uh, uh, the, the two, two kinds of idealization are most popular. Namely, the Weberian approach, that idealization is a method of constructing, constructing scientific notions, which are not met in empirical uh, work. And the second approach is Neo-Hegelian. And let us characterize these approaches more closely. Uh, empirically perceived phenomenon under investigation is intensified, the theatre are intensified, they, they, they are uh, exaggerated, and in order to build analytical notion, uh, we uh, build an uh, ideal type of something, and features of this uh, ideal type are, are exaggerated. And uh, because of this, this uh, we uh, compare an uh, ideal type with an uh, empirical uh, case. And uh, uh, if given phenomenon is too distant from an ideal type, uh, then the ideal type lo loses its applicability and it's replaced by another one. And uh, the method of uh, constructing of ideal types serves to for ordering and systematizing uh, social phenomena. Another another way of ide idealization is uh, it is Hegelian uh, approach, and it consisted of a construction of abstract model of phenomenon under investigation, and uh, this model is depriving of some properties. We con construct uh, a dependence uh, of a law, and it is in, in this law it is shown how a phenomenon under investigation depends on its uh, main, uh, main, uh, main uh, factors. And another stage in this approach is the, the phase or stage of quantification. We gradually uh, incorporate uh, accidental factors and we modify, uh, mo modify the, uh, this basic de dependence. And uh, uh, the, the very approach to modeling is often accused of being stated sta sta and unable to capture the dynamics of social reality. And I would like to show that this accusation may be avoided when we create a sequence of ideal type. And this sequence is connected by the relation of, of time success. And I illustrate this thesis by, uh, by analysis of one theory which, is, uh, which has different interpretation. One uh, methodologist or scientist treated, treated this theory as a kind of uh, Hegelian, uh, uh, Hegelian kind of idealization and second attribute uh, this theory the Weberian status. And uh, the, the illustration uh, will be uh, Brzezinski Friedrich totalitarian syndrome. According uh, to, uh, to 
his office, a totalitarian society consisted uh, is consisting of five uh, or six features. And official ideology, a single mass, mass party, system of terroristic police control, a monopolistic control of all means of effective mass communication, monopolistic control of all means of effective armed combat, the central control and direction of the entire, uh, entire economy. And, and this concept was formulated in the 50s. And after 1956, this concept was, was criticized because Brzezinski and Friedrich uh, didn't predict uh, the change of communist system. Uh, they maintained that uh, the system is very stable and unsensible. No, nothing can, can, can change. And in, in the 60s and in the 70s, there was there were set some reform in, uh, in communist systems. Uh, so this, um, this concept was, was criticized. But nevertheless, uh, some, uh, some scientists, uh, for example, Juan Dins and Alfred Stepan, uh, they, they create some sequence of uh, of uh, political system, namely uh, they uh, distinguish totalitarian uh, systems, post-totalitarian and authoritarian. So instead of one uh, concept, uh, we have three, and uh, it is characterization of this of this uh, ideal type of, of political systems. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, the whole, uh, the whole uh, Eastern Bloc, uh, all, all countries of Eastern and Central Europe, belong, after 1956, uh, belong to post-totalitarian times. And this typology was developed by Mark Thompson, who introduced five uh, subtypes of post-totalitarian post systems. Uh, so he uh, he introduced uh, the kind of early post-totalitarian post-totalitarianism, frozen, hybrid, paralyzed, sultanic, and mainstream. Uh, so, for, for, for example. According to, uh, to him, every totalitarianism is the phase of, of communist system after 1956 to half of, of the 60s. Uh, frozen post totalitarianism is a period of development of, of co communist system uh, from, uh, uh, from the half of uh, uh, 60s. To, uh, uh, to, uh, to the 70s. And for example, in Romania, uh, early post totalitarianism uh, was transformed into Sultan post totalitarianism and, and so on. And also, this, this offer formulated some merit physics, for example, Direct transition from totalitarian from totalitarian system to democracy is impossible, and in this case of North Korea and, and Cuba, uh, and different with different subtypes of post-totalitarian societies uh, are characterized by different level of probability for democratization, and uh, it allows him to to build a uh, sequence of some subtypes of uh, uh, post-totalitarian system. And, and for example, uh, evolution of Hungary uh, was de described by uh, following sequence of, 
uh, sub types of post totalitarian uh, system. For example, any form of hybrid major and negotiation collapse. And also in Polish case, he, he, he built such trajectory of different uh, different uh, different uh, sub types of post totalitarian And it is one example of um, building a theory of post totalitarian uh, evolution and uh, function and, and Lins and Stepan they uh, assumed the, the, the very way of, of idealization by construction of certain sequence of ideal types. And also, uh, this to totalitarian syndrome was treated as functionalist idealizational theory. And uh, it is a re reconstruction of a presentation of work of Achim Ziegel from Germany. Uh, he, and he treats to totalitarian syndrome uh, not as defining properties of the term uh, totalitarian dictatorship, but as functionalist idealizational theory of stability of how, how he say, says totalitarian control circuit. And he consider what are what are cons what are con conditions for stability of totalitarian dictatorship. And for example, he reconstructs some idealizing assumptions and according to these assumptions uh, influence uh, of constitutional state, institutions, international market and economical exchange, raising uh, a rising level of technological and industrial development, content of official ideology, international status of society is omitted. And, we, and when we omit uh, these uh, this factors, uh, we go we, we go to such de dependence. He, 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 he formulated such de such physics de dependence. If in a given society the totalitarian control circuit was established and influence of secondary factors are neglected, then stability of totalitarian control circuit depends on the syndrome of of syndrome of, of the syndrome main factors. And after he made some concretization of these assumptions, and for example um, uh, assumption E international status of society was replaced by two assumptions. Given a given totalitarian society is considered in isolation, a given totalitarian society is in chase in competition for confrontation with non-totalitarian countries. And when we uh, replace uh, the assumption E by assumption E2, uh, we uh, obtain such, uh, such, 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 such de de dependence. If totalitarian control circuit was established in a given society and the influence of secondary factors is neglected, then the syndrome main factors sta stabilize the totalitarian control circuit and international situation destabilizes. It means that when, for example, totalitarian uh, states, states will confront with the, the, democratic, the democratic world, then, then this confrontation with democratic world uh, will weaken the totalitarian dictatorship in, in the human country. And also, 
it is possible to uh, to develop this theory, and it is uh, my my reconstruction, my extension of of this of the Ziegel approach, and also the assumption E1 may be replaced by two. It means that a given society uh, has a satellite status, like for example Poland and Soviet Union. Or assumption E1B, a given society has metropolitan state, Soviet Union, and according, and it leads to following concretization of the uh, basic of, of, of the first dependence. That, for example, if a given society has uh, sat satellite status, and this status um, destabilizes uh, dictatorship, totalitarian dictatorship, because uh, of such um, phenomena like uh, patriotism, uh, na national crowd, and, and so on. Because uh, internal enslavement is connected with uh, international uh, dependence. And also, it is possible uh, to concretize this physics in, in the following way. We, we can change, uh, re replace one, um, one assumption by another, another one, and when a given country has uh, metropolitan status, and uh, when this status is to stabilize totalitarian control. And now, conclusion, um, I uh, think that um, uh, the, the very way of, um, uh, of modeling can capture uh, uh, social dynamic, uh, but in a very specific way, because um, this sequence of subtypes resembles a film strip that we have separate, for example, we have an object who, which is moving and we make separate photographs of it. But this photograph uh, doesn't move, so we can classify that in, uh, in this stage for example, uh, the society represented one type of uh, uh, post-totalitarian system. In stage B, the society moved to another type. But we don't, uh, we don't know uh, what are the mecha me mechanisms uh, uh, which, which are responsible for this tra transition. Uh, so, uh, accusation that the, the, the very um, way of modeling is static has some ju justification. Also, it's possible to, to weaken this accusation by uh, creation of some sequence of uh, ideal types which are connected with each other by time success. Uh, but the problem, especially for in, in historical uh, research, that it's, it is the problem of criterion of division. Because in case of function, this criterion is unknown. We, we don't know why he distinguished five subtypes, not six. And also the problem is that this defining feature of each subtype are choose a children very often at home and in an accidental uh, way. For example, uh, I have here a quotation that, that he um, characterized uh, frozen post totalitarianism and he, he wrote that frozen post totalitarianism 
is defined by its political temperature. The political climate has grown colder after heated experimentation uh, is abundant. So we have some metaphors, metaphors connected with climate, temperature, and so on. Uh, and I said about it that there is lack of characterization of mechanism, of law dependencies responsible for transition from one type of post-totalitarian system to another. And of course, uh, also uh, we can uh, put some objection, some some critique uh, towards Hegelian, Hegelian uh, way of of modeling, uh, because uh, I, I would say that it it leads to some very sophisticated formula, and because of this, that the, the, we, we, for example, should. Uh, Investigate the, the influence of each secondary factor, what is sometimes impossible, and sometimes mm, for, history, for historians it is uh, not necessary because historians are interested in explanation of specific situation. So, because of this, the applicability of Hegelian mode of idealization and, and uh, creation of fear is, is also limited. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I, I, that's all. I, I find the Hegelian form appealing in, due to the distinction between fundamental and secondary factors. But on the other hand, I don't want to be very let's say, um, um, very metaphysical, uh, in the sense that, it, well, as Novak wrote about it, he seemed to suggest that it may be taken as a very, um, let's say, hardcore metaphysical distinction. Whereas, you might also say that, while the distinction between fundamental factors and secondary factors is, um, in the end, a, a matter of degree, um, and not a fundamental matter. So to what extent, um, uh, for the Hegelian type, we have to assume that it's really a fundamental distinction between fundamental factors and secondary factors? Uh, uh, well, I would say that um, uh, I agree that the difference between fundament, fundamental and secondary factors are level of degree. And uh, for example, I introduced to uh, it, it was my PhD thesis uh, about the written under the vision of Professor Novak, and I introduced so called. Uh, the, the notion of cascade effect, it means the cas effect of cascade. Of cascade, yes. Cascade. Okay. Yeah. And, and I uh, distinguish uh, between two kinds of essential structure. That, that for example, we have one phenomenon and we can distinguish uh, the main factor and the secondary factors. And the influence of, second, uh, of, the, of the main factor is bigger than influence of of all secondary factors, and and it, in 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 this case we can we, we can say that it is the fundamental main factor. But also I distinguish uh, so-called uh, the the second type of essential structure that we can uh, identify the main factors, but his influence is lesser than some of the influence of the, of the secondary factor. Yes. And his influence of the main factor is bigger than influence of any factor, secondary factor, even in isolation, even in isolation. 
but they, they together can, uh, can over, overweigh the, the influence of the, of the mean five factors. And I think that in social sciences, we deal with such uh, weak uh, essential structure, weak, weak uh, fundamental factors that, of course, we can distinguish in any period of of history or in, in, in society, we, we can distinguish some main factors, but when secondary factors will cum cumulate, uh, it can uh, lead to, to change of, of, of the basic de de dependencies. Well, that's a very so, clear yeah. and uh, I think very useful distinction, yes. And so, also, it is in case of in discussion about totalitarian uh, syndrome, but I, I, I do not uh, go into details, many details because of many Okay, but that's a very uh, convincing answer, I think. Uh, thank you. That's, uh, so maybe that raised another question from somebody else. That's the, and, um, well, we are almost uh, at uh, time. So thanks once more. And, um, <laughs> and, uh,